a conservative victory in tomorrow's Christchurch by-election and said there would be no U-turn on one of the main issues of the campaign, plans for VAT on fuel. Labour accused him of arrogance and the Liberal Democrats said the by-election was a chance to shape the next budget. It's part of the job description. The Conservative Party chairman has to be upbeat in the face of adversity, promising victory in a by-election which comes after a chapter of government accidents at the end of a long recession. What about business? Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Picking up. Picking up. Party workers are none too optimistic, but they were promised that the government wouldn't be blown off course. No U-turn on VAT, for example. It must be the demands of the economy that come first. And so no one is pretending that any addition in terms of uh, taxation uh, is necessarily a welcome thing. But what is most important is that the economy is sound. And the fact is that this economy here, the economy uh, in this country, is recovering. We are on a recovery course, and that's the crucial thing. Liberal Democrat volunteers crowd in working on the final mail shot. They've carefully tailored their message to the voters' concerns, hitting VAT on fuel hard. But they deny the campaign has been negative, disguising their preferred option, higher income tax. The only way to spread the pain fairly across the economy is, rather than cutting back on the welfare support services, care for the elderly and so on, is you have to contemplate income tax increases, that these should be applied fairly across the spectrum in society. Labour's final task, a good luck card for the candidate with no illusions about the likely outcome. They're disgusted by Sir Norman's declaration. He's showing precisely the same arrogance which got the government into this mess in the first place. The people of Christchurch, as the people of Britain, are saying that they don't want VAT on fuel and the government ought to listen. There's hardly any evidence of by-election fever here, but the outcome is highly important for all the parties. The Liberal Democrats want this by-election to be seen as the people's verdict on VAT on fuel. But the Conservative Party chairman is making it clear, whatever the result, that policy won't change. Mark Mardell, BBC News, Christchurch. Christchurch voters go to the polls tomorrow. In all, 14 candidates will contest the seat. It became vacant in May with the death of the Conservative MP Robert Adley. He held the seat at last year's general election with a majority of 23,000.